Hi, this is Eric Choi, and I'm presenting Gram Graph-Based Attention Model for Healthcare Representation Learning, which was accepted at KD in 2017. This is a joint work between Sunlet from Georgia Tech and Sutter Health. The authors are Edward Choi, Mohamed Tabadori, Dr. Lee Song, Dr. Walter Stewart, and Dr. Jimmy Sun. Representation learning has been a big success recently, and it is based on two important aspects, which are advances in computational power and large-scale data sets. Specifically, but representation learning in healthcare meets two important challenges, one of which is data insufficiency. It is when only large organizations have easy access to large data sets, and even, even then, when some diseases are when we're dealing with some rare diseases, the, the volumes, the data set volumes are small to begin with. And also interpretation is important. The learned representation should align well with the medical, medical knowledge and the model should be explainable to human as to what it is doing underneath. So we claim in the paper that we can leverage established reliable medical ontologies. When we say medical ontologies, what we are saying is hierarchical clinical constructs and relationships among medical concepts, and they can be represented as direct cyclic graph. The examples are ICD, CCS, or SNOMED CT. They are reliable because they, can, they are constructed by clinical experts in the field, and the reason we focus on medical ontology is because when we, the concepts close to one another, such as sibling concepts or concepts that form child-parent relationships, we can learn, we can transfer knowledge gained from one node to the other, and how we transfer knowledge is where we turn to attention mechanism. This is an example, example medical ontology. This is a subtree or sub a, a subtree of ICD-9 code hierarchy. And the highest code over here is the most abstract or most general concept. And the lower we go, the more fine grained the concepts are. Because of the time limit, we'll go right into the experiment results. We show a visual teasing visualization of their learned representations, and we start with the baseline models. We this the left side shows skip gram a skip gram code uh, skip gram embeddings and the right one right side shows glove embeddings. The dot each dot represents a diagnosis code and the colors of the dot represents a most general or most the most abstract category in, category in the IC nine hierarchy. This the left one shows an RNN RNN. So we train this is a visualization of the embedding matrix. Embedding, embedding matrix that we learned in an end-to-end -end fashion when we were training RNN. So we trained RNN to perform some form of prediction task and in, the, in doing so we, all, we can also train embedding matrix and this is the left one shows the, uh, the visual, visualization of the embedding matrix and the right one is where we initialize the embedding matrix with glove and then we fine-tune it with RNN. So these four baselines show little or no structure for the, uh, in, for the learned representations. But when, when we use GRAM, our proposed algorithm, you can see here that the clusters are very cleanly divided and the clusters make, are very coherent in the sense that they represent, the, each cluster represents a certain node or certain category in the ICD-9 code hierarchy, which we use as a domain knowledge when we're training on RNN. RNN. So we can see that we have successfully uh, incorporated domain knowledge, especially I, specifically ICD-9 code hierarchy, into the neural network when we're making, when we're training it in an end-to-end -end fashion. We have a lot more material in the paper, extensive, such as extensive experiment details in the paper. Also, we interpret attention mechanism. Open source code is available on GitHub. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoy my paper.